My family who excommunicated me suddenly contacted me. What should I do? Excommunicado. When I, 26 female, was two, my parents had another child who we shall call Emma. Emma's smart, disciplined, and a very kind person. She's my family's favorite. Ouch. I also, I love the another child instead of sister. <laughs> I come from a very rich and known family in China. Oh. We have several company and properties, so that's why everything she wants is always given. While I had to do the extra chores just to get allowance. Wow. So they're rich and OP is still getting like crumbs. When I was 14, I was given a red pocket for Chinese New Year. Emma also got one. When we opened it, Emma received a bunch of red bills. If I remember correctly, she got 12 red bills, signifying they want her to have a prosperous new year and hope that money will never be a problem for her. While well, I only got six red bills. Hmm. I cried, saying it's not fair. As punishment for my tantrums, my parents took my red pocket and told me to go to my room. I remember being comforted by Emma, and she even offered to split it in half, but I declined and told her to leave. Oh, well, that was sweet. Emma sounds like a total sweetheart. Yeah. It's the parents mm. that are the issue here. Yeah. It's a, a classic case of, like, the parents favoring one child. Ch ch Did I stutter? Parents are favoring one child, which actually makes the other child resent that child, yes. not the parents. 100%. It's been that way since every Chinese New Year. Emma always receives 12 items such as gold and money and even receiving blessings and praises from the elders, while I, the eldest, always got a smaller amount. And as I grow older, I received a smaller and smaller amount due to their excuse that I was getting old. Inflation's tough out here. I know, John's only getting like one gold piece. Yeah, dude, I'm struggling. <laughs> Anyways, two years ago for the Chinese New Year, my family went all out for Chinese New Year and even went as far as to give all the employees a red pocket that was very thick. When my grandfather started giving every grandchild the red pocket, everyone but my sister got one. Everyone but my sister. Hmm. So Inverse? the tables have turned? Maybe. How the turntables. It was suspicious, but I didn't care. My grandfather called for Emma and told her to take this. He handed her an envelope. And when she read the contents of the envelope, she started celebrating. Turns out she didn't just receive a letter full of red pocket notes. Oh. Not some more money. No, no, no. She received way more. Turns out she received 12% of one of the companies my family owned. Whoa. 12%. And to put that in context, if this is a wealthy family, if the company is worth even a few million bucks. Yeah, even a few million bucks. <laughs> yeah, if, if few you're million, poor, few it's just a few million. <laughs> what, a couple hundred thousand dollar company ain't enough for you? Old rich white man John <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I mean, but like, most likely, it is a few million dollars yeah. based on the wealth of this family. Hundred percent. All right, really quick. Do we? What do we think of this situation so far? There's much more to the story, but so far, breaking it down, do you think OP is being treated unfairly by their sister getting twelve percent of a company and OP getting nothing? Even though OP is the eldest child, which I believe in a lot of cultures, China included, means that you are typically would favored. Typically favored. Yeah. It, except maybe in the case like this is you know traditional gender roles and stuff but except in the case of like a firstborn boy but they're both girls yeah so that's what doesn't make sense to me too yeah. my question is what year was op born in versus her sister oh was her sister like the year of the dragon or something yeah i'm a dragon i'm a rat i don't know what i am i would rather be a mouse cute little but mouse who killed the most people in the world Rats with the bubonic plague. That's true. That's you, buddy. I don't want to see people. <laughs> <laughs> but you did. Oh. For context, in order for me to receive extra money for my school, I started working at the company. I learned everything that I needed to learn. I started projects that benefited the company. I did everything to boost the sales, yet all my efforts were not rewarded. Instead, they gave Emma the rewards I deserved. I saw red that day and not the good kind of bread that you get from those pockets. Exactly. I lashed out at everyone, questioning why I didn't receive the shares, that it was not fair, and Emma didn't deserve the shares. Hey, all right, to OP's credit, I think this is bad. 
right? This yeah. is like super mean. Yeah. But it's like, Papa, I want the company. My sister doesn't deserve it. It like sounds bad. It sounds bad. But in actuality, like, and to the best of our knowledge, maybe the sister doesn't work there at all. Mm. It sounds like OP has been there putting, putting in, in work. the work. Yeah. yeah. It's like if they gave me the rights to the sawmill and didn't give my brother anything. Yeah, he that would be, there. no, no. It would be like, oh. it would be like giving your younger brother the rights to the sawmill and you nothing. But, and me working at the sawmill? And yeah, you, you, and you were like, working, dude. dude. It, it would be like you working at the sawmill for as long as you did and then your kid brothers getting not even Tate, your kid brothers oh, getting the Oh, yep. dude, the kid brothers? And yep. you get nothing. You get nothing. Oh, that would suck. Right? <laughs> Not the kid brothers. Not the kid brothers. Yeah. <laughs> kid brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle <Cousin> Dad? <laughs> the kid Dad? <laughs> My emotional outburst was met with criticism. My father got up, wow, and slapped me. Oh, my God. Told me I was an ungrateful child and screamed at me to get out of his house. Jesus. What if, conspiracy theory, what if it was like, all right, Emma, you're getting 12% and OP, all your hard work, you're getting 20. But OP didn't let them finish. That's true. Uh, I, no. No? No. I have a conspiracy on top of your jersey. Yeah, yeah, throw it on top of me. What if um, OP is an affair baby? Oh. And the dad said, I will raise her. However, I am, you know, this, uh, my, the, the real daughter, that's my real daughter, and I'm not going to give her any special treatment. And that was the deal. That is such a good conspiracy theory. I'm on wow. board. I think that's real. I'm on, I'm with that. Because with why? That. It goes against all other logic. Like Exactly. We, because like in most cultures, firstborn. Favoring get, the firstborn. Get, yeah. Or just, or simply just give, like getting the company. That's mm -hmm. like a classic thing to do for the firstborn. Yeah. I... I'm kind of on board, but I see you in the comments if you think that's what's happening. So he screamed to get out of his house as he does not want an ungrateful child to stay at his house anymore. So I left. I didn't even pack. I just left and drove off. So two years passed and I moved to another country. I didn't contact any of them, nor did they contact me. Two years. Imagine you're you leaving, your family doesn't even say a word. I didn't bother to find out what happened after I left. All I know is they basically disown me. It was ridiculous to disown me just because I lashed out at them, which is like, even if you lash out, like if like if a kid lashes out at their parents, you don't just own. No, not at all. Like, 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 it's just like, this is unfair. And then leaves like, yes, maybe someone could see that as childish. Yeah. But you don't just own over the that. crime doesn't fit the punishment. No. In the slightest. Super no. egregious. No. Super egregious. No. Well, on February 2nd, my father emailed me asking for my attendance at Chinese New Year at their house. When I read the email, I cried. Oh. Mm. But not for the reason you think. Okay. There was nothing else. Just asking for my attendance, not even telling me they were sorry. Mm. I had a mental breakdown that day and even took two days leave at the company I currently work for. I didn't respond and now three weeks later, I received another email asking me to visit China to spend time with them, even offering me to pay for my tickets and allowance. I'm hesitant to reply. I want to go back to China and spend time with my gong gong. <laughs> I guess that's like grandma. Nana. Maybe. Gong Maybe. gong. That's kind of cool. Gong gong. I love gong that. Gong. Should I go back? So, should I go back? And there are some edits Oof. and a thick update. Like this is, this story is far from over. This there's, is big. There's a lot of juicy twists and turns. Yeah. There's a lot of juicy twists and turns. But before we get into the relevant edits, the relevant comments, and the juicy thick update, should OP go back? So we've gotten two emails now. There has been no admission of any kind of wrongdoing on OP's. Yeah, this is really hard. Like, I, I kind of don't blame IP, uh, OP. I think there's been, and we, we kind of got like a highlight reel of the history of their interactions, but it sounds to me like the OP has just been treated terrible their whole life. Do you know how old they are right now? 26. 26. I mean, 26 years of being like treated so unfairly. And then this like ultimate moment of your own dad slapping you in the face, telling you to get out that you're disowned. Like I could totally see OP wanting to go no contact with them or low contact or no contact with them. Yeah. Um, and uh, to be clear, Emma is 24. 
The sister. So she could be Chinese year because I'm like 23. So it could be the Chinese year thing. Oh, wait, here. Wait, wait, really quick. Yes. 24. If she was born in 2000. Like you two could be born in the same year. I think I will. I think we'll get some more information on that. But I see. What what your conspiracy theory is is she was born in the year of the dragon, which is why she's getting all the special like preferential treatment. treatment. Mm-hmm. We don't know whether what, what year she's born yet. Yeah. <sighs> I I think you, you always ask me like what would I do? I think I would go back. Mm. However, I really don't blame OP for not. Yeah. Going. But- I think they've shown their character her reaction to the email having a mental breakdown yeah yeah no that's another thing to consider yeah well i riley is completely right because like i can only imagine go going into this chinese new year is going to be emotionally tumultuous yes like if an email is having her go into a mental breakdown imagine what confronting seeing them seeing them and um, i from everything that we've seen they're not gonna treat her with respect yeah you know they're not gonna say sorry so maybe you write back and you break down everything like this is how you've treated me uh the only way i would even begin to cons- begin to consider coming back is if you gave me a full apology and you promised me like all this stuff then if i feel you are having a true apology that is sincere and will actually help mend our relationship i will consider Coming yeah. back, I think there needs to be a like FaceTime, Skype conversation. Yeah, yeah. face to face over uh, online. <laughs> yes, face to face on the interwebs. Yeah, before you go over. Totally, totally, like, totally. The, the air needs to be cleared. Yes, a thousand percent. I think the apology should happen before you even go over. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But again, this is not where the story ends. There's a lot of juice to squeeze. I don't know if I'm ready, Sam. There's a lot of juice. This is a really interesting story. Too. Yeah, I feel like it we're is. getting a lot of like interesting cultural in, uh, information. 100%. My family is very strict, so my emotional outburst was seen as a defiance. One of the questions from the commenters, how do you know that they hated you? OP responds, my father fired me after I left and banned me from stepping foot at the mansion. Damn, they're rich, rich. Yeah. And the companies we owned. I was also not allowed to visit any properties. Damn, they rich, rich. Bruh. And they ban banned. And they ban <laughs> banned. Disowned, yeah, disowned. Yeah, yeah. They can't step in the foot foot in the mansion or any of the companies. That's like, that's basically everywhere. I would be like, where, where does OP even go? Yeah. You want me to fly well, back? They left, they left China. Yeah. Or that, yeah, it was, uh, well, I think this is before. Right. This is before when they initially banned. My mother told her friends that she wished she never gave birth to such a defiant child. I cried at her words because how could a mother wish her child did not exist? My brother blocked me on his social media account, but I saw his final post before blocking me and it said, do not contact my name. She is not our family anymore. We have no more ties with her. Posted about that? Essentially, all of their mutual friends and family to ostracize her. Emma was also mad because she thinks I looked down at her. My aunts and uncles and cousins decided to not talk to me. So basically, I was completely excommunicated. And there is a little minor update before we get into the big update. I responded to the email and sent them the following question and message. Why did you contact me? What is your purpose for contacting? How are you and the family? That's all I asked. I will give an update if they contact me again. Mm. We have an, another edit with a little mini update. My father responded to my email saying he contacted me because he missed me and he was apologetic for how he treated me and wanted to reconcile. Well, I sent another email with a link to a video call and told them to call me at 2 p.m. Chinese time. In the call were my mother, father, brother, Emma. <laughs> Good point. I'm allergic to this story. <laughs> And my grandparents from the paternal side. We gave each other basic greetings and talked about what was happening in China and my life here. But I got tired of small talk, so I started asking why my efforts were never rewarded and why they were always strict with me. And I got an answer. In our culture, being born in the year of the dragon was a lucky thing. (laughs) Whoa. Whoa. No, what? No shot. Yeah, you got it, Riley. (laughs) Riley called it. It means you will be blessed and always dominate whatever field you work in. Yeah, you're the dragons where you at. (laughs)
<laughs> Emma was born in the year 2000, so that's why my paternal family saw it as an auspicious blessing and decided Emma should be around the company more as she may bring more blessings. It basically explained why she always receives 12 items why, while I only get what they give me. 12 because the year is like every 12 years it recycles. Mm -hmm. Also, just saying, since Riley came on, We've been the company's been doing well. We've been blessed, yo. We've been blessed. We've been blessed. We are blessed with Riley's well, dragon presence. That's right. I never fully hated Emma, but I admit there is a feeling that will sometimes arise when I feel that they prioritize her over me. As for me, it was not planned back then. My parents only wanted a single child, a boy. I was born three years after my brother, and although they cared for me, my parents had a hard time loving me as they saw me as the extra child. I asked them why they had Emma, and they answered that Emma was going to bring blessings to her family. They wanted a baby in the year of the dragon. And I broke down and screamed that it was not fair that I was their child too. Mm. Which, yeah. Um, Billion percent. This story is about to get even juicier, yeah. but you know what's red and juicy? What? That subscribe button. Mm, we should eat it up and smash it. Smash that subscribe or follow button if you're on Facebook. Thank you. My mother and father broke down, saying they were sorry, and if they could turn back time, they would love me more. They said it broke their hearts to see one of their children grow without them overseeing my progress. They regretted not being at my piano recital and not being there when I graduated from high school. I cried saying it's not fair that I didn't get a happy childhood. And basically at that point, everyone started crying. I asked why they did not reward my efforts at the company. And my grandfather admitted that his views were outdated and he did not want me to get any position at the company, but he apologized saying he broke my heart with his actions and told me if I moved back, they would give me the position of director. Oh. I know what you're thinking. The company is going downhill. That's why they want me back. But nope, the company is still strong and provides yeah. a stable income. Huh. The call lasted for one hour, and basically we talked about the family, how my life here is, and even that I went to a Taylor Swift concert at Australia. My parents was happy that I uh, I was happy, so they offered to buy me four tickets at a Taylor concert oh, in Singapore. That's a big one. Singapore Bro. is a big one because of the four Super Bowl. Four tickets. That's crazy. Do you know how expensive that is? I mean, that's got to be... 15. 15? Each 15K. or... Yeah. 15K a seat. Yeah. Easily. Wait, wait, can you look that up, Riley? Yeah, I'm, I'm putting GPT, money on it. GPT. Oh, uh, I think it could even be more. Twenty five. Yeah, that. For, yeah, for the VIP. Look up, look up tickets. Taylor Swift. Like, what, what did, what did, how what much, do Taylor Swift concerts in uh, Singapore cost for floor tickets? Was it Singapore, or Japan? They were offering the Singapore ones. Eighteen hundred. It's saying. I mean, still expensive. Yeah. Tickets start around sixteen hundred and go up to eighty three hundred. There you go. Per ticket. And this is, uh, did they offer two floor tickets for OP? The most expensive ticket was 95K. Wow. But I guess two, yeah. Wow. My mom told me that Gong Gong misses me and to come visit him in Shanghai. She even told me she'd pay for my tickets and hotel just to visit them. I accepted the offer. Oh. I know. How could I just forgive them like that? But honestly, I miss my family. Right. Especially Gong Gong. So I'll be flying back at the end of February. So I'll give an update once i get back wow and there is an update april wow. 10th 2024 <gasps> recent that happened recent. eight days ago recent mere days ago recent <sighs> but before we get into that update yes i do have some relevant comments but i would love to know in the comments how do you think it's going to go when she goes back to china and i wonder what what what, what, what do you all think i i mean i am definitely feeling that the family is on the right track and if they continue this like in this lane that it could be great however i am skeptical i'm also like what made the change yeah where did this change come from right i mean to to me there's like almost no context to it it's extremely important yeah. to know what the reason for the change is. yeah i think mm -hmm. it's extremely important because is this change coming out of a need a scarcity mindset yeah, is it is it coming out of a scarcity mm. mindset or an actual desire to reconnect? Is it coming from, oh, Emma actually doesn't want to run the company, so we need someone to step in, and that's why we want you back? Yeah. yeah. Or is it coming from we realize what we did is like is actually wrong? I yeah. and how like how after two years did they finally realize it? Like what clicked? I want to I want to know what the journey was. Yeah, and I really want to know what Emma thinks about this because the grandfather. This was an very old traditional mindset how does emma feel like oh you only 
favored me because I was the year I was born in. Yeah. Also, it was a unanimous decision of the family mm. to excommunicate OP. And to bring her back because so what, most people are on the call. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's unanimous. the deal? Bro. Do they know what unanimous is? Because they don't live in a d- democracy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Every decision in China is unanimous. <laughs> yeah, because one person says so and everyone has to follow it. Yeah. So, it's, so they, they're all it, about it. So it's all, one person about. making the decision. It's a grandpa. Yeah. And they're like, okay, what did you say, grandpa? Oh, I wonder if it is like the patriarch of the family is making all the call, like the calls. Yeah. Like, is Gong Gong the evil mastermind puppeteer? <laughs> Dude. For Gong Gong pulling the strings oh, Gong out Gong. here? Is Gong Gong pulling the strings? Bro. I think he could. Gong Gong, the boss, boss. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? Gong Gong is like, gone, gone. <laughs> and then they're out of there. Or back, back. <laughs> 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 well, let's see what actually happened. But before we get into this juicy, thick update mm. that happened recently, yep. let's get into some of the top comments. Let's talk about so, it. So, present background 56 says, I'm sorry that you've been treated this way. Clearly, you deserve better and much better from the family. I'd guess that they want something from you that only you can provide related to finances, medical slash health, and perhaps something else. These people have already shown you who they are. Nothing has changed. If they want to see you, then they can come to visit or agree to a neutral location. If you're curious but want to protect yourself, suggest a virtual meetup. They'll make it happen if they want it badly enough yeah is there something that maybe they're trying to like trap her in china mm. you know mm. is there something weird going yeah on i feel there? like it could be something fishy or okay this is a big conspiracy theory and how i met your mother barney stinson has like this job and his job is basically to sign all the papers of like the illegal doings of this company and essentially be the fall guy if the company is like like illegal actions ever catch up to it are they trying to put her in place so she is taking responsibility for any shifty behavior that the company has engaged in? Yeah. Is I, this like a fall guy? I feel like mm. um, it's some, I feel like it could have something to do with the company and they need OP to be the fall person, the the worker be like something along those lines. Like they need to essentially use OP for something for the family's benefit. Yeah, yeah that could definitely I can't be imagine OP is not being used. Yeah. I also think, I just think it's risky to go back to China. Yeah. Without understanding fully everything. Some, yeah, something just doesn't feel right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't but, know all the information. But let's get back to reality and get to this update after one more comment. Old Meal says, do not go back. They want something for you. You have moved on from that life, so stay moved for your own sake. And Queen Legolas says, don't go back. They'll probably want something from you. Possibly an organ. That's crazy. Rue? Emma can't have kids and wants you to be a surrogate. Someone is ill and they need you to be a living maid. It could be anything. Block them all. None of them deserve you. Don't tell them where you are, what you do, nothing. Could be someone is terminally ill and they expect you to forgive them and then will emotionally blackmail you. Oh my gosh. I want to know what's happening. And there is an update. Oh my Ooh. gosh. I didn't even think about the organ thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The black market organ trade in China is like, wow. Big. Money's big. up. Yeah. Money's up, dude. <laughs> dude, you can sell a kidney for like... And you guess how many you have? Two. Two. It's called investment One, two, capital, three. baby. Hundred Extra 150K could go a long ways. Mm-hmm. That's true. Right. We got healthy. Cameras. We're pretty healthy boys. We're yeah. healthy boys? <laughs> we can do it. Riley doesn't drink. His kidneys are great. Dude, dude that's yeah. 100K. Yeah. yeah. That's a 100K <laughs> kidney right there. <laughs> right there. 100K 100%. kidney. Also, I just realized we're talking about kidneys, not livers. 100%. Yeah, I know. I know. Wait, how yeah. many kidneys do we have? Wait, we could silver two. off you a mean, kidney. We still have kid- two kidneys. Well, I thought we could like cut off a little bit of a kidney, give it to someone. No, livers. That's what you do with livers. You can do it with livers. I don't know. I, I, you might be able to do it with kidneys too. No, we have two kidneys. That's what I was talking about. We have two about. kidneys, but I think you can you cut off half a kidney. Oh, but you meant about the alcohol thing with kidney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. I see. No, doesn't, doesn't have an effect. I, don't I think. actually don't know. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> we're not doctors, <laughs> but we are Reddit story readers. Yeah. So we're going to read this update. Do our thing. Hello, everyone. Thank you for patiently waiting for an update. Here is what happened. I met with my family at a hotel in Guangzhou, Mm. and we had a heartfelt talk. I tried not to speak with my parents and siblings, but they kept asking me things about my life abroad and what I work as. My aunt may have seen my discomfort, so she told them to let me eat first. I admit it was quite awkward since, to me, the pain of rejection and betrayal is still fresh. Well, when we were done eating, we started having a conversation. My aunt encouraged me to speak my heart out and tell me all the wrongdoings that were done to me. After I was done, I was tearing up 
and luckily we were in a private room, so I cried my heart out that night, and my cousins comforted me and fed me mooncakes. Mm-mm. Yummy. The same cousins that excommunicated you? Yeah. Ops. The night ops. ended with all of us crying. Overall, we had a slight reconciliation. Emphasis on slight. They asked if I wanted to go back home, but I declined, saying I had a plane to catch up to. They were shocked, thinking I'm already going back abroad, but I said I was going to visit Gong Gong. My mother told me to postpone the flight so our entire family could visit Gong Gong. I agreed, so I canceled my flight. I booked a hotel as I didn't want to be back in the place where I was humiliated and betrayed. I spent my remaining time with Gong Gong, which was two weeks. But during our tea, he gave me a folder and told me to open it. And I got the surprise of my life. What do you think the surprise is? Riley, what do you think? Uh, probably something to do with the company stuff, like 20, or given Emma share, <laughs> Emma share. It was a legal document that contains half of the company my Gong Gong owned. He told me that life keeps screwing me over. It's not accurate, but it's what I interpreted as. He told me I deserve all the success I achieved, and he is giving me full control over the company he owns once he passes, or when I'm ready. I cried and my family was happy for me. And overall, I finally felt that I'm needed and appreciated. Wow. Anyways, the entire trip was too long for me to share everything that happened, so I'm only writing the important events. Thank you all for your support and kind messages. It helped to see the bigger picture and guide me to the right path. And there are some final relevant comments and some edits, but really quick, what do we think about Gong Gong giving OP full control over this company. Uh, like, I'm happy that OP is getting these things and hearing these affirmations like you deserve everything from your hard work. I, I'm still like, why? What's ha- What's changed? What's changed? What's changed? That's what I want to know because, like, what if OP is the fall guy? Mm. Yeah. It, like, you give control of a company so that OP can be put in jail for the company's misdoings. Yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. They're like they're like about to be sued by whatever like the equivalent Dude, of forget the SEC. Forget sued. Forget sued. Freaking like uh, Xi Jinping will just, like he did what? Yeah. Xi Jinping just imprisoned Jack Ma. Yeah. Jack Ma wasn't seen for Jack Ma is like one of the richest people in China was abducted and just not seen for months because he got too powerful and Xi Jinping wanted to do like a show of force. Yeah. Apparently. Apparently. Allegedly. Um, like China, they'll just imprison you. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Like insane. The smoke might be coming for OP and they're like, oh, well, now that you are like legally the, the front face. Yeah. Take the smoke. That's what I think. But but, you know, it'd be so crazy. It would be even more sinister and cruel given that they were all like comforting her. Like I don't think it said they were crying with her, but like they were. They were crying with her. Like they would have to kind of like fake that in a way to get her to do this which is mm. even more freaking evil yeah and like would they actually do that um i'm not saying your theory is wrong but it, but it, it could would make be that they evil. are actually sad about it but they're like hey this is what we need to do like what if they are sad they are they're crying because oh we're throwing our sister under the bus again yeah. they feel guilty but they're doing it anyway they're doing it anyway whoa i want to know in the comments what y'all think and also if you know anyone in like a traditional family like this, like how does it play out? Yeah. But there are some edits where we get a little bit more context. So edit, hello everyone, thank you for your comments, but I would like to clarify one thing. My Gong Gong is the only one who supported me these past two years, so I assure, so I assure you there's nothing suspicious with his actions. Mm. So that's a little bit better. So Gong Gong maybe isn't pulling the strings. So Gong Gong didn't tell her to leave and banish. No, it, I, it, it, it seems like Gong Gong was uh, supporting her throughout this entire time gotcha. while she was separated from the family. Wow. Um, OP on the Taylor Swift tickets. The Taylor Swift tickets they were offering in Singapore, which I did not attend. And yes, my paternal side has multiple homes. However, my paternal grandparents live in Guangzhou while my paternal family lives in Shanghai. And top comments, BHV Niet says, I smell a rat. There is something going on with the business or company that you are not aware of. I cannot believe that in just two years, your whole family had a change of heart after going to the extent of disowning you. Nah, 
I think you need to find out what is actually happening in your company. What has prompted them to give you ownership of half the company? To me, it seems like a trap, which is what we've been saying. Trick Delivery 4609 has a final comment. I am worried about you. Either the family knows you are inheriting half slash all of the business, and that's why they're being nice all of a sudden, or worse, you're being given a bad business with a lot of debts. Check in with a lawyer or private investigator. Take everything they say with a grain of salt. Mm. I would agree. <laughs> Tread lightly, OP. <laughs> she has a uh, another subreddit in Ask a Lawyer or Legal Advice. Can I hire a lawyer to represent me in China if I'm currently living in another country? Oh, so sorry. like their username, they're like they just posted about that. Wow. Yeah. When did they post? Uh, eight days ago. Wow. This is like happening in real time. Yeah. Did OP respond to any of those? Um, uh, I think no. You can look at Not OP yet. responded. You could filter by OP responded, I believe. If you look at like newest. Or yeah, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> she has another post. Am I the able for not giving up my spot in a Taylor Swift concert? <laughs> but That's no, funny. she didn't. She didn't, she hasn't responded to any of the legal stuff yet. <laughs> it seems like we might be able to get an update on this soon. I would be excited. This was this is an incredible story. Yeah, I think what I like about this is we read a lot of stories from, like, America on, like, yeah, family true. dynamics. And I think this is giving, like, an insight, one, to a family that is a, a uber wealthy. Yeah. And so the dynamics of fam familial relationships change when a lot of money and power is involved. Mm -hmm. And two, we're looking at what it looks like to be um, imbued with a lot of cultural restriction yeah. and a lot of, like heritage and history and yeah. honor and all these things that can make familial dynamics stressed and complex and like op is caught in the middle of of one of these things and it's kind of i mean it's sad for op but incredibly interesting to to voyeur into and is this the end of the story so far end of the story wow so far oh yeah. my so we don't know is op going to accept is op going to go to china and go back and take over the company there's so much that is left up in the air. I've never felt a seemingly on the surface happy ending and been so uncertain yeah. about yeah. it. My thing, though, she's doing good for herself. She was able to get tickets to a Taylor Swift concert in Australia at 26. Yeah, yeah, she's probably, I mean, she's, she's wealthy. Probably killing yeah, she probably, whatever her position was at the company, she's probably making bank doing yeah. it for whatever company, wherever she's at right now. Also, I have a suspicion that, like, when she says allowance, it's like 50K a month. Yeah. It's like something, like, ridiculous. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, it, it, multiple companies, multiple properties, well known family in China. If you're a well known family in China, you're, you have, money yeah for, you have money it was that versus like oh she's just being given it but they're like oh go like clean your room and then we'll give it to you or something yeah like yeah yeah and it's like okay yo, we'll clean your room and then we'll give you 50k yeah like i'll, I'll clean my room done. for a thousand dollars yeah an hour. <laughs> <laughs> i honestly think that that is that, that is on the scale of the money she's getting even as a child what? yeah dude okay i okay story time so i was gonna open up an english school in china when i was like uh, in junior year of college. And so I taught in Hangzhou for a little bit and the kids were total little brats, but were given everything. The yeah. amount of money these kids spent in a week and they were like 12 and 13 was thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars. And they're like one of the well-known families in China. So they're like hanging out with like all the politicians and the gangsters in China, like had a, a fundraiser with like Yao Ming. So like wow. they were, they, they were super centralized, but the amount of money that they gave these kids was obscene. And it's a case of like, they're not, maybe not like, well, maybe they are writing out a check, but it's just like they just have like their parents' credit card basically and are going yeah. crazy and buying stuff. Yeah. And all that. yeah. I mean, and uh, like uh, my um, my uh, I had an ex's mom that was the um, assistant to a, a Saudi Arabian prince and they my ex would hang out with uh, prince's daughters and they would go to rodeo drive and just like drop 80K in a purse and they would be like, oh, wait, uh, do you want anything? Why don't you get something? And she was like, she was wealthy. And yeah. she, but she's like, I, I don't have 80K to drop on a purse right now. Yeah. You know? So it's like <laughs> you, when you get to a certain level of wealth, you have just oh. an obscene amount of disposable income that it, it, to the point where you are completely blind 
to the fact that people don't have that money. Yeah. Absolute insanity. Bonkers. Wait, what is this backstory you just told us? Yeah, yeah <laughs> actually, that was two of the most <laughs> cr- insane, like, okay story times <laughs> of all time. <laughs> like, you just, I thought you just like, got this out of your ass. I'm like, there's no way he... Had- no, dude. <laughs> you taught kids... Like yeah. that? What? And Hangzhou. Yeah, they, they. So when I was when we were teaching, we did such a good job that they wanted us to move to China for five years to open up an English school for the uh, Chinese elite, and we're going to fund it. But the thing is, like, when you open up a business in China, a Chinese person has to own the majority of the company, so you actually don't have control mm. of the business. And we were fearful that if we open up this school, we might make enough. Like, what happened? What? What is common is they like lead foreigners on with like a, a like a like a golden carrot and will always give you just enough to survive, but not enough to like leave. But we had like a business plan and everything. We're 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 almost gonna move to China to start this business. Who's we? Me and my ex girlfriend. Oh my. Gosh. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I I've maybe heard about this once or twice very briefly yeah. i i feel we, we know most of each other's like back back stories but this one i haven't gotten like the full download on. yeah yeah crazy yeah, absolutely wait nuts. how long ago was this 2017 wow absolutely nuts how old were you i was 21 wow insane absolutely nuts yeah. Hangzhou is beautiful too also that sounds like the beginning of like a great tv show it's like these two ki- kids are like oh yeah we'll start this english school and then you end up like with all the like, well, that's what was so interesting because we were we were thinking like we either wanted to do that or Peace Corps. Uh, Why are you I, laughing, Riley? How the, no, how the <laughs> fuck do you have those options at twenty one? Peace is, Corps or <laughs> everyone has the option of doing the Peace Corps. She actually <laughs> she actually applied to do Peace Corps, um, but COVID messed it up. Oh wow! So wow. she was going to do it. She had been accepted, and then COVID canceled. Now plans. she has no peace. She has no peace. Wow. But, but look now at you now, five years a later. Year old. That is like um, such a completely alternate yeah. Sam timeline, bro. The the Sam I was close. the 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 multiple universe. Uh, what is it? Uh, multi dimensions. The, the multiverse. The, yeah, the multiverse of Sam becoming uh, the teacher in or running this like teaching business in China is a crazy different timeline, dude. Yeah, dude. Crazy different. Yeah. I was learning Mandarin too. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. Mandarin? Leon Pijiao. What can this man not do? <laughs> right? Oh my god. <laughs> that probably to anyone who actually speaks Mandarin, that was probably garbage. We're <laughs> <laughs> like, oh <laughs> whoa. I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm so speechless right now. Well, you know it's a cure for your lack of speech? What? Me speaking this next story to your face hole. Let's get it. Am I being disrespectful by telling my parents good luck with that when they tried to ground me? Might be. This comes from Aggravating Bat 314 who says, I live at home while going to university. I'm in my final year and I have a job lined up after I graduate. My parents have been charging me rent since I was 16 years old. What? I have a small company that makes me around 60K a year. Nice. Let's go, OP. We don't know that OP is still... 16, but um, th- that's impressive. Uh, I started in high school. Wow. It's one, of, it's one of the reasons I graduated early from high school and why I got attention from recruiters. My parents said that since I was earning adult money, I could take in adult responsibilities. I like that. Fair. I like that. It's kind of, it's kind of fair. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was fair. So I paid, okay. I paid for all my own stuff starting at age 16. Mm. Wow. Impressive. Kind of badass. Dude, yeah. super badass. Kind of badass. You want to get my Camaro? Yeah, bought it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that, not, this feels very John. <laughs> this is, yeah, like, that I was can a totally see John. Sam story. No, this yeah. is John. I yeah. will say for a crazy, okay, slight, quick, okay story time for me, um, it was very crazy going to Silicon Valley at 17 and meeting other 17 year olds who had raised a million dollars from like <laughs> soup, like billionaires. And that completely broke my brain in half. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Wow. Crazy stuff. Well, the guy that I was running with the other day, like, he sold his first company for six figures at 16. In Or 17 or something. Low, mid, or high? Uh, Probably low. Still. Still. Bro. Still. <laughs> Pretty freaking good. Bro, if I had 10 bucks at 16, I was like, let's Woo! go, dude. <laughs> Rich. Oh, man. Not university. 
I got a scholarship, and the rent they charged me was minor at 300 bucks a month. OP is winning. OP is winning. But I basically considered my room to be completely mine after that. I kept it tidy. I like it that way. But they had no say in when I cleaned it. Oh, I, oh so this is OP talking about his room at their house still. When I did my laundry, other than not to do it at a time when I would disturb the family, for example, at 3 a.m., I bought myself food and I ate what I wanted. They tried to say I was separating myself from the family, but I saw it more as having my own schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Riley likes uh, Riley, care to explain? It's like, I got money on my mind. That's just a yeah. schedule. Like, I can't even be thinking about hanging out with you. Guys. Yeah, dude, I got fat stacks up here. What were you dude. doing at 16? Exactly. <laughs> I got a schedule. Dude, that's true. Put it on my cal, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. put it on my calendar. Wait, Send wait. me a cal invite. Speaking of cal invites, sorry, Sam, I have an okay story time about Sam and a calendar invite. I'll, I'll make it quick. Okay, okay. Sophia asked, hey, Sam, when can we go on a hike? He said, hmm, how does May 1st sound? It is currently... <laughs> May 18th. He told his sister. <laughs> no, it's, it's April 18th. It's April 18th. Okay, sorry. It's April 18th. He told his sister he could hang out with her until May 1st. Go on a hike. For a morning hike. I am I have a thing every morning. <laughs> See? He has a schedule. I have a he schedule. doesn't have time for family. Uh, what? <laughs> I hang out with Sophia every day. We went Not on a hike. We went, we went to the beach <laughs> yesterday. Or That's two nice. days ago. That's nice. But Pretty it good. was just hilarious. I was like, wow. He's probably going to say something in May, and he did. <laughs> I, May 1st, for, to though. be fair, I said April 29th or May 1st. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Two options, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, I do. I sent I sent the girl that I'm seeing a calendar invite to hang out. Nice. What did you think about? Uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? We're weird together, buddy. Ah, yeah, dude, it's great. It's yeah. great. I don't know. I don't have to keep track of anything. It I is just, a better way to live life. Yeah. I will. I will agree to that. <laughs> this year for spring break, I went to Mexico with my friends. Again, just balling. My parents were upset. At sixteen. At sixteen. My parents were upset because they were hosting. Wait, wait, is he actually still sixteen? He started his business at sixteen. Oh, sorry. This year, we and we don't know how old OP is yet. I want to say um, seventeen. But this was, like he said, once I started in high school. I, I gather we're a few years out, probably, but we're not sure. Probably sub-20. Yeah, could totally be, yes. Um, my parents were upset because they were hosting a big Easter family get-together. When I got back, they said I was behaving badly by not being around for a family gathering. I said it was my last spring break in university. There you go, senior mm -hmm. in university. And that I was not responsible for their schedule. Damn. Damn. Dude, that's one way to say it. They said I was grounded, and I laughed, ha, and said, good luck with that. I went to my room and locked the door. They tried banging on it for my attention, but I am done. My grandfather came over to talk to me later. He is the one who helped me get my company started, and he is always there for me. He said that I was rude to my parents when they were trying to be there for me. I asked him how much rent he charged my mom when she lived at home. He said it was ridiculous to think that he would charge his kids rent. I told him that I had been paying rent for four years. So three hundred dollars a month. Still At paying 16. rent. Still though, three hundred dollars a month. So he's twenty now. Yes. Or yeah, twenty twenty one something like that. I mean, all right. This is what I, I actually kind of agree with him a little bit. I don't think he's. I mean, maybe he's being a little bit the a hole. Yeah. But if you're making that kind of money since sixteen, no, nobody can tell you nothing. Yeah. You know, like like he's yeah. he, a, he's like a little he's a little cocky, right? Which which you know. The the error the error of youth, but yes, yes. to be fair to him, he's making his own money. He is paying for rent in the house, and he is like has his own business, needs his own schedule. I think making adult money, having adult responsibilities, and having adult freedom mm -hmm. is the third thing. Yes, yeah, it's well, it, it's a, it's a tricky thing because it's like obviously you want to spend time with your with your family. This is the I mean he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. You're right. You're right. I, I think a, 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 he might be a dick, but adult freedom. He's an adult. He, he might be a dick, but he's entitled to being a dick. He's a, he is, Yes. Yes. Every adult is entitled to be a dick. Yeah. Every every adult. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Every adult is entitled to be a dick. Sam's golden rule. <laughs> the second Got the, him again. The second the parents were like, you have to pay rent, I do think he earned adult freedom so he yeah. can, he doesn't have to do all Agreed. this stuff. And also he's 20. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, man. So he went into the house. 
and I heard a fight. When he came out, he said that I needed to treat my parents with more respect, but since they are my landlords, they do not have a say over how I spend my time. That, I think, is a very tempered statement. You should always statement. treat, like, you should always treat people with respect. Yeah. 100%. But, like, he he, he can be a dick if he wants to. Yeah, they can't, like, force you to yeah. do something. Yeah, you, yeah. Are, you are independent, and they... Being a dick is still a bad thing. Yes, exactly. I'm avoiding my parents for now, and I'm renting on Airbnb right now until I graduate. <laughs> baller, dude, baller. I took everything that was important to me, and I left $600 for the last two months I had planned on being. Wow. Classy. Just breaded. <laughs> they keep calling me, but I am currently getting ready to move for my new job. I don't have the energy to deal with them. Hung white boy 25 says, wow. <laughs> 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 yeah, I wrote that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, I love that. There's only one thing, uh, well, only one line there. Riley's only 23. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they tried to ground a grown adult who pays their own bills and works full time. Yeah, you're not the a hole by a long shot. Why don't you just move out? Legit, don't see a reason for you to be there. And then OP says, rent was cheap. Bro, frugal. So. So baller. Ladies and gentlemen. I agree with that comment. What about what about this comment right here? I don't have the energy to deal with them. That, I mean, it's giving young money right there. <laughs> yeah, he's mind. a little brat. He's, he's a, giving he, some brat vibes. He is being disrespectful and pro and not the kindest to his parents. Yeah. But he is right. You don't like you can't control me. Also, yeah. I wonder just like pr from a practical parenting perspective, them being like oh, you're grounded, and like, oh, no, you can't do this. Like, is that really the way you're going to get your son, like, back on the right track, mm. you know? Bro sounds like he's on the right track, though. <laughs> but, no, like, like fi financially, but Finance, I would, yeah, yeah. as a parent, I would be worried that, like, he kind of continues he's down this path and kind of becomes an asshole. An asshole. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he definitely is, like, trending towards the Instagram Lamborghini exactly right yeah. and like i i do not, I, I would love i think i secretly do want my children to do what i did and like leave home early and do all that stuff but i don't want them so john's just to gonna be this. like see ya <laughs> that's what nyman thinks <laughs> she's like they're getting no inheritance they're getting kicked out at 16 um <laughs> they're not they're not but um, i i was fed by the streets when i was 16 <laughs> The streets provide. <laughs> I cook rats. <laughs> yeah. And top ramen. Because <laughs> I am one. Oh, Year man. of the rat baby. Yeah. <laughs> but what 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 should be the parenting move here? Yeah, dude, it is tricky. I mean, like you yeah, you you can't say you're grounded. Yeah. I think you just I think the parenting move is to talk to OP as an adult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the same way as if one of your adult friends or family members disrespected you yeah you'd be like hey i felt disrespected here you are an adult now you have adult responsibilities but i want there to be respect in this relationship not necessarily just because we're your parents but because we are i think this is how you should treat all the people that are important to you and in your life because if you keep acting this way you may be rich but you're gonna be really lonely you know, and like, Boom. like if if you want to have a full life, it's not just about money. It's about the relationships that you have with your family and your friends and your loved ones. And like, maybe you're not going to understand this lesson right now, and that's okay. But just know that when you are ready to have a respectful relationship with us, we're going to be here. I think I've just developed an entirely new fear of not having a because my, my my fear is always like having a kid spoiled from like your money, but then raising a kid who's spoiled and, and an from asshole their own from money. their own money. It's kind of a dream though. Dude, new, f new fear new unlocked. Fear oh God. Well, because you're going to give them all the information they need to yeah. be like, yeah. the, dr yeah, the dream scenario is they become self-sufficient, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. or like they go after it and get it themselves. Yeah. The thing I learned from this was if I have a kid and they don't clean or want to do anything like that, I'll be like, all right, you can pay rent. And then you are free of not doing any of that stuff. It's kind of kind of sick. I think I like that option. I kind of like that. Yeah. If you're working, if you're working, doing other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Like you don't have to do chores if you're paying. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. When did you guys get your first? Uh, <laughs> fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> sawmill. At the saw. Yeah. yeah. Well, ten. Like doing like firewood. Uh. Yeah, like little like little odd jobs. Like yeah. uh, I would I would go around. We had like a annual like big neighborhoods a uh, yard sale, and I would like go around with like coffee and donuts and mm. stuff. But like actual job, I was sixteen working as a day camp counselor. Well, sixteen two years earlier. <laughs> 14 what because <laughs> we can't we can't say i was i feel like i'll get him in trouble but you're supposed to work there at 16 no it was it was okay it was legal to work at 16 yeah it's legal to work at 16 yeah oh yeah that, that's like but, the legal before before 16 is not legal so i worked at 16 i think in florida uh i i, I knew people legally working at Publix at 14 years old what 100 really? percent yeah. yeah, maybe in different states, I think the I, legal limit is I think, lower. I think huh. Florida's as well. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Am I the a-hole for banning my parents from a family event because they don't like my brother's wife? And this comes from Icy Lingonberry 8128 and they say, so my 30 female little brother is 23. I have another brother that's 20, but this is about the 23-year-old who I will call Blake. A few months ago, Blake eloped with his girlfriend, Shay, 19 female. Our parents and my three sisters, Mary, 22 female, Bia, 27 female, and Sarah, 25 female, were livid. <gasps> yeah. That's what? 23 and 19. It's like if I go to a 19-year-old and elope. Oh, I wasn't even thinking. I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> Bro, we did, we read a story where it was like a 24-year-old and a 19-year-old, and you didn't bat an eye. I was thinking of r r running away and doing the marriage young. I mean, but like I mean, yeah. young by whose standards? Like Riley is like 20, 23. You not, should, and 19 not, should be married yesterday. Not their, yeah, not their age gap, but yeah. Young, yeah. Young by, yeah. 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 <laughs> young by our, our city boy standards. That's right. Like unusually angry. I was a little confused, but I spoke to him and to me, it seemed like he and his girlfriend loved each other very much and just wanted to make a rash decision to elope in Vegas. We live about three hours from Vegas, so it's a popular day trip destination. So they were there for the day and eloped. Like, yeah, it was a little silly, but but I don't understand why they're so angry about it. Blake and Shay didn't even tell anyone about their marriage until two months later. OP is a 30 female. Yeah. Sorry, I just, coming from a 30 year old's mouth female. Coming from a 30 year old's what? Like she's 30 and she thinks this is not crazy. What's, is it crazy? I think it's a little. Yeah. It's rash. Two kids running away and and getting married and young love. It's it's true, but it's just you know. Could, I think, yeah, it's it's a little wild. Yeah. But like, I don't think it's like deserving of hatred. No, no, not at all. No. Yeah, that's an overreaction. For sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Blake and Shay are very wholesome and dare I say a perfect couple. They very obviously love each other, live together and split the bills, both study very good degrees and have two cats. Okay. I've always said you can't put a timeline on life and if they want to do marriage earlier than usual, who cares? I care. Okay. My parents have made a point to not invite Shay to any family events since. They'll call up Blake and say, don't bring your girlfriend. They refuse to acknowledge the marriage. Blake came the first two times they did this, but left very early. And he's always politely declined all invitations since then. I've tried to tell my parents that they are pushing Blake away. And soon they can expect to never hear from him again. But they don't seem to care. I think that's true. I think that's true. I think that's wise words from OP. They take every opportunity to insult Shay, even though they used to love her before the elopement. It's my son's birthday soon, and I'm planning a big party. I sent the guest list in the family group chat, and my parents saw that Shay was invited. Gasp. They demanded that she's taken off, but I refuse. What do you think? OP in the right? There's a little bit more to the story, but OP in the right are wrong o for refusing. For refusing to not disinvite her? Yeah. The, uh, not the a-hole and all. Totally in the right. In yeah. the right. They were acting in a way that made me suspect they were going to make a scene, so I banned them. Whoa. Right or wrong to ban? Mm. Mm. It's your son's birthday party. You get to choose. Maybe, you know yeah, maybe. Kind of smoke. Maybe that's kind of a teaching them a lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I could get by that. Yeah. Because we did read a story before where there were two people that hated each other, and they didn't. They invited both of them, and then it was a huge falling out that ruined the party 100 percent mm. yeah i don't want them to isolate my younger brother and he hasn't been to any family events since he got married besides the two he left early gotcha. they are infuriated they are threatening to show up anyway and think i have no right to ban them for someone who isn't part of the family which makes me think that they are even more going to 
cause a scene. My sisters and youngest brother think I'm overreacting and I could have instead warned them to behave and told them they would be removed if they couldn't do so. They think the ban is nuclear. My parents are demanding an invite and apology. So am I the a-hole? I want to know what all of y'all think in the comments. So put your comments right now. But Riley John is OP the a-hole by basically uninviting the parents because the brother is invited. No, I think actually OP handled this well, which is hard because you kind of have like two sides, mm -hmm. one side in particular kind of coming at you. And I think the parents do need to say, hey, you can't be treating them this way and going all crazy. So let me teach you a little lesson. Like you can't come if you're going to be so crazy about this. But he didn't say that. He said, you're right. You can't come. That's a good point. And you made you just made a great mm, point. So they assumed that they were going to do that. But on the other side, OP felt that they were going to make a scene based on the interaction and then uninvited. Mm, I'm on the line now. If mm, because explaining it, that's the move. Didn't explain it. <sighs> what do you think, Riley? Talk to me. It's tough. It's tough because one, she loves her brother a lot and is like, I want you to come. I want you to, to feel a part of the family because you haven't felt that way in a long time. And in result of that, the family is going to then pick on the brother again. And she, if you don't want that kind of like animosity at your party, I don't think she's the a-hole. Like she, yeah, it, it might have not been nice that she banned them, but like that it's her son's birthday party. They should be celebrating, not like worried about this possible. Cause that's what was going to happen. I have a thought. Mm. I think what you can say to the, your parents is my brother hasn't been to an event in years and you have been hostile to Shay. I think it's really important to have him come to this event and feel safe and loved because if he doesn't, he's going to feel ostracized from the family and you're going to lose a son and I'm going to lose a brother. Yeah. That's not to say that I want to invite you to future events and that you're both going to be there, but I want to see my brother and I don't want there to be a scene. And I'm worried that you're going to make your distaste of Shay known. So for that reason, you're out. Mm. Damn, Damon. You know what? I'll go slightly inciest, weensiest, tiniest, the a-hole for not explaining. Ooh. Because then it could backfire and just end up worse. Uh, Which it already kind of has. It has backfired. There's no, it's, 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 there's, there's no, it's like hard to be a mediator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's hard. It's hard to win in the middle. It's hard to win in the middle. That's right. I don't know. What do y'all think? Put your answers in the comments below. We'd love to know. Is OP the a-hole or not? But you know who's never the a-hole? Who? You. Because if you love us, make sure to subscribe. We love you. And, and see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.